Good morning everyone, my name is Jason from Countrybill. Countrybill is a news platform that focuses on bringing you positive news that will put a smile on your face and lift your spirits. Right now we're doing our weekly roundup where we go over the most exciting and interesting news we covered this week. We won't be able to go into all the details on the news, so if you want the full story, make sure to check out our social media. But without further ado, let's get into it. The new Olu of Wari was recently crowned in a viral ceremony. Uh, his title, forgive me any people from Wari, I believe was Atsumwase III. Sorry for butchering that pronunciation. But it was a ceremony that had a lot of, um, a few challenges. The crown was stolen and two crown princes are currently being investigated in relation to that incident. The new Olu also took the time to reverse a curse that had been placed by a previous um, previous leader and also he praised God that was what you were seeing all over social media he did a praise session and he said at the end of the coronation he now declares the kingdom of worry as the kingdom of Jesus Christ very well done to him the Paralympic Games launched on the 24th of um, August and it was an amazing event especially if you happen to be a Nigerian. Our very own Latifat Tijani brought home our very first Paralympic gold medal. She won in the women's 45 kg weightlifting category. She beat out China's, forgive me any Chinese people, China's Zhe Shui to win um, by lifting 107 kg, which is a lot. I'm not near that in weight, so very good job to her. Amazing. Jim Ike's bad comments was um, recently premiered on the 22nd of August. It has been receiving rave reviews and it was a very star-studded event. So um, yeah, look forward to seeing it. It's going to be landing in Nigerian cinemas on the 27th of August. So be on the lookout. Kanye West filed to legally change his name to Ye. Or is it Yi? It could be Ye, like Kanye, or Yi, because of, you know, the Bible's Yi, which he says is his inspiration. Anyway, there's a lot of backstory behind how and why he chose the name. If you want the full story, make sure to check out the link we'll leave in the description below. August seems to have been a very crazy one for birthdays. It seems like almost every celebrity is having their birthday this month. In fact, let me consult my handy list. First up, we have Yvonne Jegadeh. She celebrated her birthday on the 25th. She turned 38 years old. Happy birthday. We have Funke Akindele, who celebrated her birthday on the 24th. She turned 44 years old. Happy birthday. We have um, Dr. Alban, who celebrated his birthday on the 26th. He turned 64 years old. Happy birthday, sir. We have Hanks Anuku, who turned um, 61 on the 27th. We have Shegun Odegbami who turned 69 on the 27th as well. We have um, Ruki Sanda, who turned 37 on the 23rd. We have Nathaniel Bassi, who turns uh, 42 on the 27th as well. And we have AY, who turned 50 on the 19th. His own comes last, even though it happened last week because right now there's a lot of buzz and hype about the party he recently had which we'll be talking about on our page and on our website so make sure you check out the full story on that all right that has been it for our weekly roundup thank you once again for joining us another time uh please if you have any comments let us know in the description below um don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and please make sure to check out our website for the full story and also make sure to follow us on all our social media our facebook uh instagram youtube and everywhere else we'd like to connect with you but yes that has been all for our weekly roundup thank you once again this has been jason from country bell and um, yeah, see you next time. Remember, all we have is good news.